Yo, what is going on guys? Pompey Studios bringing us live gameplay commentary to level 1000s on our team. Holy crud. Uh, not a whole lot to talk about in this commentary. We do have a couple topics though, nothing too crazy. We're going to do our absolute best here in this TDM. I have made this video about three times, so please, uh, if I seem like a little irritated, it's just because I am. A lot of stupid issues are coming up and it's so irritating. So, um, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about today is actually really important and um, kind of near and dear to me. So, if you guys haven't heard, there is another series of hurricanes coming barreling at the Caribbean and the lower United States. So, we have Hurricane Maria, which is a fully formed hurricane right now. It did yesterday, I believe, at like last night, it was a Category 1. It is now a Category 3, and it is expected to make landfall. I think they said in a few hours on your screen, you'll have a little visual of that so you can see its path. If you're in that path, please be safe. Um, I'm not telling you, you know, to leave or whatever, because I know a lot of people don't want to do that. And I honestly, I get it, but you do need to be safe, especially, you know, if you got kids or whatever. Think of them first instead of yourself. So, are you joking? How did I just die? Well, anyways, so... And then behind Maria, there is Tropical Depression uh, Lee. So, in the season, I guess, is still in full swing. We are nowhere near out of the woods yet. Tropical Depression Lee is in route, and I do believe... Um, I, I honestly think it may, it'll may probably turn into a hurricane, too. It's following the exact path of... Um, Maria, I believe. So just be be wary of that. Be on the lookout for that, especially if you live in those areas. Um, I don't know if I said it already, but Maria is barreling toward Puerto Rico right now. So if you live in Puerto Rico, if you know anyone that lives in Puerto Rico, and it's for some reason they are not aware of the hurricane that is coming to them, please let them know so that they can take precautionary measures and do whatever they can to be safe. So now that that part is out of the way. Uh, I would like to discuss with you guys a little bit, uh, it's kind of usually in my videos, honestly. It's a, the games that I want to know if you guys would like to see. Um, I have a little two game list for you here. Number one is going to be Skyrim. And uh, I don't really know like what you guys would want to see on there. Maybe you would want to see like a playthrough or just some gameplay. I don't really know what you guys kind of want to see. We could do maybe some mod reviews, because I know that on the console they have mods, so I could do the mods, play them for a little bit, and tell you guys what I think of them. Just kind of let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would maybe like to see something like that. I certainly would not mind doing something like that. But I know that Skyrim has been out for a while, so I don't really know if the uh, if you guys want to just see it again, even though you, you know, you've probably played it, you've probably done this and that, so just let me know if you guys are down for that. So, aside from that, no, my hives better eat you alive, are you joking me? Aside from that, Rainbow Six Siege is a, uh, many of you know, especially my older subscribers, a game that I'm a huge fan of, and generally very good at. Um, there are some times whenever I do get beat pretty bad, um, and uh, I'd like to blame it on my team, kind of, but uh, I know there's also blame that goes on myself, so... If you guys want to see that, let me know. There's going to be Rainbow Six Siege. I know I always say that, and there hasn't been yet. But I'm telling you guys, it is coming, so um, be ready for it whenever it gets here. Because once it gets here, it'll, it's definitely going to start becoming a regular upload. I'm just trying to refine my skills a little bit. Because I definitely have lost a lot of skills since I last um, made videos on the game. So I'm trying to make sure that those gameplays are the absolute very best they can be for you guys. So, another quick thing is the bipolar video I dropped yesterday. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It's just a really short video explaining me. I've been diagnosed with bipolar and kind of what bipolar is because a lot of people get it wrong. I know I did whenever, um, before I was explained to what it was. So, um, if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It's somewhat enlightening, I guess you could say. And, uh, especially if you suffer from mental illness or bipolar even. Um, just know that you're not alone. Your buddy Pompey here is in full swing with you. So, did I really not kill that guy just now, or did I get an assist? Ah, uh, whatever. 
So aside from that, um, I don't think I actually finished what I was going to say, so uh, I'm going to make another video at some point explaining it more in depth, um, my whole situation and um, kind of how it is more relatable to me, I guess you could say, instead of just a general uh, explanation of what bipolar is and things of the nature. So be on the lookout for that. And the main bread and butter of this video that I would want to that I want to get into is going to be uh, it's kind of like a fitness related video if you want to say. I'm going to tell you guys my workout routine, my workout schedule, and kind of what I do uh, every day whenever I go to the gym because I do go every day. Um, so number one is I'm going to talk to you guys about the schedule I use and uh, what I do on each day. So Sundays. Because the beginning of the week is going to be legs, and I do I do legs on Sunday because on Mondays we run for PT, um, and it I think it just it helps the muscle develop better because a lot of times we'll do sprints on Monday. Sprints build up muscle in your legs tremendously, um, especially helps those explosive explosive fibers, which are your slow uh, yeah I want to say your slow twitch fibers. No, your fast twitch fibers. I'm sorry. Slow twitches for uh, distance. So um, I, I do legs on uh, Sundays because I know Monday I'm going to get another leg workout. So it's kind of like priming my legs for the next day whenever I do legs on Sunday. So then Monday I do back. And then Tuesday I do minor arms, major chest. And the minor arms will make more sense whenever I get later into the schedule. Wednesday I do legs again. Thursday, I will do back again. Friday, I will do chest. And then Saturday, I will do arms. Now, what I meant by the uh, arms minor and chest major, I guess you could say, I just have that so that way I kind of know that I'm working my arms a little bit and mainly working my chest. Um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, so, every, if you guys didn't notice the pattern, it's one body part every like three days and that's just because the muscles respond better to that type of training every 72 hours I think it, it has to do with your protein synthesis I can't remember the exact science behind it right now off the top of my head but feel free to do your own research this is a real thing so <clears throat> I have a body part every three days and then today's workout is going to be my back so it's going to be wide grip pull-up, 4 sets of 10, neutral grip pull-ups, 4 sets of 10, a super set for 4 sets of the neutral grip lat pull-down, 8 reps, and a seated cable row, 8 reps again, a seated one-arm cable pulley row, 4 sets of 8, which is just using one arm for the, cable uh, the row machine, seated cable rows, 4 sets of 8, bent over barbell row, 4 sets of 6, and then a trap bar deadlift, 4 sets of 6 reps, but really it's kind of like 12 reps because after you get the weight down for that deadlift, you're going to come into a pin lay row, which is an explosive movement. So if you guys, I want to have this workout in the description along with the video where it came from so you guys can go check out the creator and he can get credit for it. If you guys ever want, like, looking for good workout routines, go to Bodybuilding's, uh, Bodybuilding.com's YouTube channel. They have all kinds of videos of professional bodybuilders and their workout. And uh, it's just a really good place to get a lot of good information. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's been Pompey. I will catch you guys in the next video.